trusting the process. We've seen the NBA's Philadelphia 76ers do it and become one of the league's best. But the same can be applied to the high school level. Just ask the Lytle Pirates. They're one of the San Antonio area's best boys basketball teams, but that wasn't always the case. Earlier this week, we stopped by Lytle High to visit with the Pirates, a hardworking group of young men eager to keep rewriting history with their eyes on the ultimate prize. We just, we just wanted to win. Believing in the system, in selling the District 33, a champion Lytle Pirates do quite well. But it wasn't always that way. When I came in the senior class, I was their third head coach in four years. Jacob Hernandez is in his third season leading the Pirate program and in the midst of orchestrating one of the biggest turnaround jobs in the entire state of Texas. When I first got here, they told me that they had only won five games in three years. Total different atmosphere than what I was coming from. It was unfamiliar territory for the former Edison assistant used to deep playoff runs. Hernandez had a start from scratch and completely changed the culture. The same group of kids were 2-27 and 27 our first season. And that was just a lot of teaching, um, a lot of hard work we had to put in. But it's paid off. A year ago, the Pirates ended a seven-year playoff drought, nearly beating a Somerset team that went on to the state tournament. I want to say that playoff loss motivated these kids uh, to get to that level. We were there with them, so it kind of drove me to, like, if we can do it, we can, we can get there. This year's Pirates aren't there yet, but they're close. At 27-1 and one, with one regular season game to go, the Pirates have found a winning formula and are rewriting the history books. I live for stuff like that. I want to be on the wall at the school and stuff like that, so that's what drives me to, to bring a winning culture to this school. Undersized by most standards, Pirates use their speed to open things up for their shooters. A plan that's worked and led to not one, but two 1,000-point players in George Hogan and Josiah Cruzy. But accolades aside, this team still has plenty to prove. Our, our mantra this year is unfinished business, and we've just stuck together. So we talk about just staying hungry and humble the entire season, and that's what's really you know, keeping us going and looking forward to the playoffs. Because as Cruzy knows, a season can end quickly. Playoffs is a totally different game. It's one game you lose and that's it. So if we want to keep our game, our season going, we have to continue to work hard and not think that we're better than other players or other teams. These Pirates just up theirs ends at the Alamo Dome. We have to go in there and show them why we should be here. Pirates have already wrapped up the District 33A title. They'll finish up the regular season Tuesday night against Jordanton.